did they know that they were being filmed? Well, I've spent a large part of my life uh, filming people and, and, and looking at things. Uh, and I look at two people there who I think do actually mm. know that they are being filmed. Uh, she looks, and thank goodness, she looks well. Uh, she looks a little bit pale, of course, uh, but she's carrying her, her shopping. She's ambulatory, quite clearly. She seems relaxed. Now, the Prince and Princess of Wales were said to have looked super relaxed. I don't like it when people super, put super at the front of anything. With anyway, <laughs> as they visited the Windsor Farm shop, Nelson Silva, for it was he, spotted the pair in the car park and caught them on camera with a video published by The Sun. It's uh, Kate Middleton's, Princess Catherine's, first public outing. <laughs> Stop it. Since Christmas Day, will it put the rumours to rest and what does it tell us about future engagements? Let's speak to Michael Cole, former BBC Royal Correspondent. Good morning to you. Good morning. Two weeks uh, is a long time in royal reporting. Uh, two weeks ago, a snatched photograph was taken of the princess being driven by her mother through Windsor Great Park. Mm. Uh, that was sold to the American uh, celebrity site called TMZ, and I give it its American pronunciation. But the newspapers in this country were united in not publishing it. Today, or yesterday on Saturday, uh, Mr. Silver took this um, video, um, and that has also been sold to TMZ, but it appears, uh, or snatches from it, mm. photographs from it, appear in two of the newspapers, The Sun and The Daily Mail. So, so what's the difference? Uh, what, is, what, yeah. has changed? Yeah. what has changed? What has changed is that um, it's the end of a 26-year self-denying ordinance, which... Uh, stems from the moment uh, Charles Spencer, Earl Spencer, uh, climbed the steps into the pulpit at Westminster Abbey and with his sister's coffin uh, in front of him, delivered um, a sermon, uh, a eulogy, uh, which will live forever, it, certainly in my mind, uh, in which he said that uh, Diana, the huntress of classical mythology, had become Diana the Hunted, mm. uh, and his criticism of the press um, was heard by all the editors who were in the congregation, and they'd given a collective sigh of relief that there were no British photographers in the pack that hunted Diana and Dodi Al-Fayed and their chauffeur Henri Paul to their deaths in the Alma Tunnel. And from that moment on, they did not and have not published photographs which were taken of the royal family in their private time, in their downtime. But this has been published, so something has changed, and I think that's quite important. Um, but is, is this just because, is this not something that has changed, the very nature, unusual nature of this story, of all the conspiracy theories, um, of all the ridiculousness that has gone on? Is it Kate? Is it not Kate? What's in our hand? Is that really a Prince William, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Presumably, someone has made a decision somewhere that it's in the best interests of, I don't know, of the national conversation and in terms of the royal family as well to try to scotch these rumours by by showing um, a photograph actually that we weren't expecting to have until after Easter. Exactly and I think precisely you've summed it up there uh, and there we see them uh, walking. Do they, did they know that they were being filmed? Well I've spent a large part of my life uh, filming people and, and, and looking at things uh, and I look at two people there who I think do actually mm. know that they are being filmed. Uh, she looks and Thank goodness she looks well. Uh, she looks a little bit pale, of course, uh, but she's carrying her, her shopping. She's ambulatory, quite clearly. She seems relaxed. And uh, we all, of course, collectively wish her the very best of good fortune and a speedy and complete return to good health. But I think this is a reaction mm. uh, to the uh, rumour mills, which have been working overtime with ridiculous, vile, uh, crackpot uh, theories you know, the best thing that could possibly happen, uh, I know that the princess has asked for privacy, but uh, without going into any great detail, the thing that would scotch these rumours would be for a, a health bulletin, a brief health bulletin, telling us what is, what is going on. Mm. Because the princess has tremendous amount of goodwill. People are on her side. Yeah. They will support her. They will want her to get better. But 
in the dark, if they're being kept in the dark, I'm afraid it encourages these awful trolls who misuse the wonderful uh, advantages of social media and have turned it into a cross between uh, a sort of a cesspit and a piranha pool. Uh, that will not be stopped mm. uh, until definitive information is given. Okay. It's no good briefing selected journalists that at one time unspecified in the future in, in an informal uh, conversation with members of the public, she may divulge what's gone on. I think briefly, without being prurient and without being intrusive, we need to know uh, what is going on. And that will, if anything, will stop the rumour mills turning. OK, Michael, thank you. Very interesting. Michael Cole, former BBC Royal Correspondent. I think there's no such thing as a definitive statement, though, because if they issue a statement, everyone will say, well, I don't believe it. Because that's what happened. Once, once yeah, that... but they should have done it earlier. Well, yeah, but now it's too yeah. late. Everything they say, so we would say that, I no longer believe you. Um, that's the problem with uh, conspiracy. Uh... Yeah, so the funny thing is that.